I made my White Castle order. These are spot the f on. I'm so happy to be back and filming. I actually get more sad when I'm not filming. This is my love language. I love to cook for you guys. I mean, I've never been thinking about doing guys. I've been thinking about doing like more vlogging. I know a lot of people like, that's the funny thing on YouTube. I feel like once you have like a niche of what you do, you can't really veer off from that because then, you know, people aren't really interested in that. They're interested in what you, what like, whatever it is that you're doing. <clears throat> but I've been thinking about vlogging, like me, Chris, Aiden. Hey, actually, you know what? A lot of you have been admitting lately that you don't actually watch the recipe part. Hey you guys, so today we're making our White Castle order and I'm super excited about this one because it was so spot on. So let's jump into it. You guys already know that I'm gonna be weighing out everything I need for my dough recipe, my buns. These were actually the star of the show, but unfortunately I haven't got them quite right. So I'm not gonna leave a recipe in the description or I might, I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Um, but these were perfect. They were, they were what I was looking for, only I wanna make it easier for you guys to make. Um, so I'm gonna be weighing out my wet ingredients and my dry ingredients, of course. And I'll be using a new ingredient today called amylase or amylase. It's an enzyme that's supposed to eat starch and turn it into sugar. Um, I'm playing with that. I don't know if I like it yet. I'm going to use it a couple more times to let you guys know if it's uh, something that is game changer for bread baking. Anyway, I'm going to be adding everything to my mixture and my butter in one at a time to keep the dough cold so that when it bakes, the the bun, the butter seeps into the roll and creates this nice layering effect and like the stringy effect. And that's what I'm going for because White Castle has really soft buns and that's what I wanted. I didn't want, I didn't want rolls. I wanted slider buns. So I'm gonna knead everything for about 15 minutes, cover it, let it sit overnight or for at least four hours if you don't got that kind of time. And then I'm gonna be weighing everything out. You guys already know, just I'm weighing everything out for consistency because I want nice square buns in my pan. Um, I want slider buns, I don't want rolls. So I'm gonna be weighing them out specifically for my pan, but you don't have to do this if you don't really care for the shape. And then, then I'm rolling them and I don't, and I'm not a baker you guys, so I suck at rolling, but I do try to show you guys how I do it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to work on my rolling because I make very bulbous buns and so I'm trying to not make as as like round buns if that makes sense. Then I'm letting them proof until they double in size, putting my egg wash mixture, and that's to create that nice brown, that's to create that nice brown top. And then I'm gonna be breaking that at 345. And I, what I don't show you guys is that I actually wrap the pan in foil. I don't show this, because I realized I didn't wrap it, so I took it back out. And I wrapped it in foil so to create steam, so that the inside of the buns cook evenly, and the outside didn't brown as fast. So um, halfway through, I took off the wrap and then let the top cook all the way through. So then I'm gonna be flattening out my meat and I'm gonna try to get very even square slices. So I'm gonna be using my rolling pin to roll this flat and then I transfer it over to my sheet tray just to get it nice, even. Um, all the way around. I actually like doing it in the sheet tray and not just doing it on my cutting board. Oh, 
Then I'm gonna use my pizza cutter and try to get evenly square as possible. And I'm gonna be doing a little bit bigger than the buns so that when it cooks, it shrinks down a little bit, just slightly. Um, it'll match the bun. Then I'm gonna poke the famous White Castle holes into my burger. Um, what this does is help it cook evenly and a lot quicker. And then I'm gonna freeze them because um, when I break them apart, they'll be nice and evenly broken apart. Then I'm gonna jump in and do my fries. I've done these like 100 times, but I show you guys every time anyway, just for anybody new here. I'm just gonna be peeling some Idaho potatoes. And I know you guys are probably wondering why there's two different um, well, you guys probably aren't because I told you that I moved, but while I was filming this, I was filming it like before I moved and then while I was moving and then after I moved, I finished the rest at the new place. So that's why you guys are gonna see um, different, different backgrounds. So then I'm gonna boil a pot of water and I'm gonna add one tablespoon of vinegar. The reason why I do this is because I'm going for restaurant fries. If you're not going for that, you can totally skip all of these steps and just cut your fries, rinse the starch off of them, fry them at 300 and then bring them up to rest for a second and then fry them again at 350 until they're crispy. But if you want this type of fry, do this. I'm gonna boil them in this vinegar water, only one tablespoon, no more, no less. and only until they're a little bit opaque on the ends. Then I'm gonna dry them and put them in some oil and par cook them for three minutes, throw them in the freezer, freeze them, and then you can use them whenever you want, whenever you want french fries. It is my favorite method, but like I said, you guys do not have to do that. And then I'm gonna cut the onions for the burgers because they use onions only when they're doing this. And then also minced onion. This is the secret right here to this recipe, is this minced onion. They actually use dehydrated onions, so I'm gonna be using dehydrated onions. All you have to do is get these minced onions, put them into a container, and then I pour hot water over them until they rehydrate, and then I'm gonna cook them with my fresh onions. Then I'm gonna throw them on my skillet or whatever you have available to cook these, of course. But I'm just showing you this for filming purposes. I'm gonna throw my onions on there with some oil and my dehydrated onions. I'm gonna saute those for about a minute or two. And then I'm gonna throw my frozen burgers on top of those, because that's how they do it. So we're doing a we're doing a legit copycat recipe. That's probably why they came out tasting exactly like them, obviously. And then I'm gonna throw cheese on, on on half of them and some pickles because I like it that way, but you don't have to. Um, you could just do cheese if you want. And I'm gonna be throwing my homemade pickles and if you guys want that recipe, I'll have it linked below and I'll have it on other videos on how I make it. Then after that, after those cook for a little bit, I'm gonna add my buns. Don't be alarmed because it's not cooked all the way through. What it's gonna do is the buns are gonna steam with the meat and then the meat is gonna add like its juicy flavors to the buns and steam the buns at the same time to just make this like magical bun that we all know and love from White Castle. That's it. You can toast your bottom buns. I actually threw mine in the microwave with a water in a bag for like 30 seconds just to, to heat them through. Then I'm just gonna take those frozen fries that we made earlier, fry them up until they're golden brown and add them to this cute little bag. And don't forget to add your salt. If you guys are still here, leave me some burger or fry emojis and I will see you in the mukbang part. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so happy to be back. Let me make sure I'm recording because I haven't recorded in a long time. I made my White Castle order and 
I'm gonna tell you guys, this actually took me a long time because of these guys right here, these buns. I was trying to get perfect for you guys before I showed you. All right, look at this, guys. Look at these burgers. These are so cute. Anyway, you guys, I'm so happy to be back. The last video you guys saw was actually me and Chris on his birthday and that was last month. But thank you guys so much for wishing him a happy birthday. Anyway, let's dig right into this. I'm so excited and I missed you guys. All right, I'm gonna go right in for this White Castle burger. Okay, so for the White Castle burger, I put half of them have cheese and pickle and half of them are just plain. And then I fried up my own french fries on this little cute white bag. And I just got some ketchup back here. Just got some ketchup. Mm -hmm. I spent a lot of time trying to get these buns right just for this recipe. I wanted them to be airy, pull like, you know when you pull it apart and it's like stringy? I wanted them to be just perfect and like super soft. Like, just look at how soft this is. I wanted them to be super soft. Wow. Mm, mm. This is so spot on, it's scary. Try some of these golden french fries. Mmm. Crispy. Airy on the inside. I wish I could show you guys what it like looks like on the inside, but it's probably too bright. It's got that perfect airiness. That's why, um, I show you guys, that's why I take so long with the method because I'm trying to show you guys that you can make these at home and have like restaurant fries at home. But I get, but I get a lot of you just don't got the time for that. But I got the time for y'all. Anyway, how have you guys been? I have really, 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 really missed you so much. Or maybe this side. I've missed you guys so much. It's been so long since I've actually recorded. Mm, 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 mm. These are so crispy. So quiet. <clears throat> it's been so long since I've recorded. It's just like quiet in here while I'm recording. Mm, 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 mm. Mmm. Pickle. It's like the perfect combo. This is my, my, this is my go-to meal from White Hustle. Let me know if you guys have had White Hustle before. We just got one out here. We just got one out here in Arizona. Well, a little bit ago. And I only remember White Castle being in Chicago. And so I used to get, I used to get White Castle when I was younger, when I was living with my dad in Chicago. Um, but I really don't know where else they have these at.
And I feel like, I feel like it's just one of those childhood things. So when people out here talk about White Castle and they're talking about like it's trash or whatever, I'm just like, it's just one of those things you have as a kid and they just do it a certain way. And like, it's the same kind of argument when people say, in and out when people say in and out is trash and it's it's just one of those things like if you live here and you get it it's just quick it's simple it like grows on you and then it just slowly becomes your favorite burger that's kind of how i feel that's kind of how i feel about that <clears throat> burger action and I caramelize, I caramelize the onions a little bit just to give it a little bit of, you know, flavor. And if you guys watch the recipe part, I know a lot of y'all are skipping through, which is all right. But if you did watch it, they put the buns on top of the burger to steam the burger, but in turn, it like adds is adds flavor to the burger. It I don't know. It's like this. It's like this magical, this magical food scientific thing going on. Mm. Mm hmm. When I tell y'all, I have not filmed in so long. I feel I feel so awkward right now. I'm in a new, I'm in a new place. And it just feels, I don't know, it feels weird, it feels different. I'm super happy. Um I really don't deserve you guys. I hate leaving for so long. <clears throat> it's just that I do not deal with stress very well. And so in the middle of like our birthdays and moving. And now Aiden is homeschooling. It's crazy out here. But I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are staying safe. I think I'll do one more. These are legit. I don't, I'm not even mentioning that. Like, these are spot the f on. These are spot on. The only thing that I did that I could have done better is was not cooking these buns as much, but my oven, I'm getting to know my oven. My oven cooks it unevenly. So every, all of the buns in the middle were perfect and all the buns on the outside were overcooked. But either way it goes, these buns with this recipe tied in and the method of like, the method of doing the onions, the di doing the dehydrated onions and doing the, um, and doing the fresh onion, oh my gosh. It's, it's literally genius. You guys have to try this. You guys have to try this. Where's my phone? My phone's going off. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I'm full. Does White Castle have sauce? <clears throat> I don't know if White Castle has sauce or not, but I didn't make any sauce. I just kept it. I kept it simple. Ketchup, because that's all I get. Mmm. I'm so happy to be back in filming. I actually get more sad when I'm not filming. I'm happy when I'm filming. I'm happy when I'm interacting with you guys. I think you guys know that this is my love language. I love to cook for you guys. I love to cook for people. I just love it. Anyway, you know what I've been thinking about doing, guys? I've been thinking about doing like more vlogging. I know 
a lot of people like that's the funny thing on youtube i feel like once you have like a niche of what you do you can't really veer off from that because then you know people aren't really interested in that they're interested in what you what like whatever it is that you're doing <clears throat> but i've been thinking about vlogging like me chris aiden you guys might not care you're like girl just eat shut up just eat hey actually you know what a lot of you have been admitting lately that you don't actually watch the recipe part So right now, I want to show of hands. If you watch the recipe part, put up the girl with the raising hand. Put the raising hand emoji if you watch the recipe part. I want to see how many of you guys are watching it or skipping over it. Either way, it's fine. I know a lot of you guys just are here to watch me eat. Um, and also, like I mentioned in the last video, a lot of you guys, I took a poll on Instagram to see if you wanted me to, um, or if it was like cool if I just like, backed off of the mukbangs for a little bit and y'all just flat out said no so i'm gonna keep them that's i'm gonna keep them for you guys um but yeah let me know in the comments below who watches the recipe part let me know who watches it uh if you don't that's fine but i just want to see i just want to see who's watching um leave me some christmas tree emojis down in the comments below i will see you guys in the next video i'm doing something fun i'm actually going to be filming something later i'm doing something fun i saw it on food network and i can't wait to try it but anyway you guys i will see you in the next video i love you guys let me know in the comments down below what y'all doing what y'all doing today how you doing